Welcome back to Positive Sum Gaming. Regrettably, we had a reactor surge that wiped out the next hour of Chrono Trigger footage. We still have the commentary audio though, and there's too much good stuff in there for me to want to throw it away and try and do it all again. So I'm going to be posting that anyway. I figure if you guys are still following along with us, it's probably because you enjoy the conversation more than you do the little flashing lights on the screen. So we're going to probably have the next five or six episodes of either black screen or maybe some of our original fan art to go along with the commentary audio. And hopefully we're talking about doing another playthrough here on something with a few more ethical options like Kingdoms of Amalur or maybe Skyrim Run or something like that. I'm excited to do something that has a few more options for us to play around with and deal with morality and things that we had intended to do with this channel, as opposed to just kind of a straight playthrough like what we've been doing with Chrono Trigger. But, uh, thanks for hanging with us, and I hope you still enjoy it. And we're back. Looting time! What's this note say? No entry. <laughs> I have one of those on my back. Look at the beautiful animations for those uh, lanterns there. That is pretty good. See that? That's a bat. I knew it. <laughs> You're not going to surprise me. It's a trap. It's a trap. Oh, dang it. I could have got all three. So close, yet so far. I'm just mesmerized by the animations of the uh, fire, the old lanterns. Just too much. Is that his slurp cut? Yeah. Colonel Fist Pump. Lucas, reach for the sky. It looks like she's yawning. She's bored by this. Not only does Luca laugh at danger, she falls asleep when she's in danger. Yeah, she's, she's definitely a badass. You also want to watch this customizableness right here? Whoa. Whoa! Yeah. yeah I'm going to get seasick pretty soon. Come on, come on. <laughs> They're like equidistant. I mean, what do you want? <sighs> do we have to have geometry in on this? No, no, we don't. Geomancy, on the other hand. That's Final Fantasy Tactics realm right there. That's yeah, feng shui, is what it is. I don't like people messing with my feng shui. Can I mess with your physiognomy? I don't want you touching my head. <laughs> Which head? <laughs> well, that was brief. Hit no way. Who just learned that? Was that Luca? Yep. Oh, that's disappointing. I was hoping it was Frog. All hail Hypnotoad. Wub, 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 wub. If you get that reference, you're probably a nerd. I think a lot of non nerds watch Futurama. I think if you watch Futurama, you're automatically a nerd. Whoa! By the way, I love Futurama. Except for the new seasons. They're just okay. I never really watched them. I probably should. Yeah. Do, do, do. 
Are they still doing new episodes of Family Guy? I have no, you know, I have no idea. I know McFarlane was wanting to end it, but I don't know if the company would let him. Hatch and Diablos. El Diablos Blanco. Ayúdame. Ayúdame. I've exhausted my knowledge of the Spanish language. I used to know what Ayúdame means. I have no idea. It means help me. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. The most extensive Spanish sentence that I can put together I got from a Martin Lawrence movie. <laughs> Yo tengo gato en mi pantalones. Ayúdame. Ayúdame. Classic. Did you watch the new uh, Will Smith movie? After Earth or whatever? I don't think I've watched a Will Smith movie since Independence Day. Probably good. <clears throat> he goes from bronze to iron. And it gives him two strength points or weapon points, whatever that is. Should I put a frog in a karate gi? No, because it's weak. <laughs> I already looked at that option. Hilarious though it may be. You put the speed belt on? Or no, I put the you speed belt on. I was actually thinking about putting the power glove back on. Of course, the Defender is good. In 43. <clears throat> Any which way, it looks like there's some healing that can be done here. Mm, I should probably. Does it ever gall you to have a healing potion, like, have two wasted hit points on it? <laughs> and just, like, you know that you should heal up to full, but it just really rankles you. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm not getting the full potential out of this item. I usually don't. I usually just don't do it. I just wait. Because they cost money. Economics in the game, even. Man. I'm so much better with money in video games than I am real life. I oh, know. Say one more time. Even though we could. Oh, another great part of this game is that it it has a chap it has a chapter name for like wherever you're at. I mean that changes all the time. That is pretty nice. Yeah. <clears throat> chapter heading. Um. <laughs> I miss the old Sierra point-and-click adventure games where you'd have to name your save files and try to, like, put in what was happening at the time so you'd remember where the hell you were. Man, those guys look like bruisers. They even walk like total badass asses. Seems awfully energy inefficient. <laughs> yeah, you'd think that they'd just stand there and kind of look. We patrol this five feet of ground power walk the whole time. Yeah. Ridiculous enemy attacks. I love them so much. Safety note. Never try lighting a sword on fire and then swinging it in a circle at home. <laughs> Unless you're videotaping it. <laughs> then send us a copy immediately. the like hip hop beatboxing <laughs> the 
It's like really super catchy music, this whole game. I love it. My favorite music ever.